Hey, welcome back for my second tutorial. Hopefully you've been studying the first one and you've got your running man perfect by now. Um, so for this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to do spins. There's several different types, so we'll quickly run through all of them and hopefully you can start adding them into your shuffling. So to start off with, um, we'll do the first spin that I ever learnt because I think that's probably the easiest. So that's on one leg the whole way around so you don't change legs. So let's say you're doing a running man, and you just round, 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 round. So if you have a look at your feet, it's kind of the same motion that you do your side step or T-step, but you're just going around your circle. So to get a bit of idea of what my feet look like when I'm doing it, running man, and round, So really the only thing to remember for this one is momentum is what is going to get you around so you're not just going to be able to do this and keep that leg up there because you'll lose momentum. So what I do is into your running man, go into a kick, 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 kick. So going up and down or out, whatever you think looks better. Um, there is another spin that will use a kicking so it's really, really good practice. Um, just to get the keep, keep going and you can keep it going for as long as you want as long as you've got your balance you've got your momentum um, yeah happy days okay so the second I'm going to teach you is a bit of a progression from that um, that's the one with the kick um, this is one that Ender taught me thank you Ender um, this is my favorite one because I think it looks really specky um, so you're actually changing feet while you're spinning so you want to get into your normal spin. So let's say we're here. Kick, turn, kick, turn, kick, turn. It doesn't have to be high or anything, um, but like it does look quite good. So this is what it looks like if you're doing it properly. Okay, we'll do a close up of the feet again for that one. So. Just keeping in mind that you're changing the whole time while you're spinning. So off we go. Keep going left, kick, right, kick. And you're kind of doing little hops to get yourself around, and the kick is what's going to give you momentum for that one. Okay, this one doesn't really classify as a spin, but I use it to kind of unwind myself once I've finished a normal spin. So let's say I'm spinning. Keep it going. Step this way. So what I'm actually doing is I'm up on my toe and it's kind of like a glide, which will be the next tutorial. Um, so I'm kind of up on my toe and just dragging that foot around. So it's a little bit of a spin, um, but it looks kind of good if you're going in one direction really, really fast and then stop to reverse. Okay, there's another kind of spin which is more like a pirouette that I don't actually do. Um, but a couple of my mates do it, and it does look amazing if you can pull it off. Um, blade, you look awesome. So this one is kind of like the first one we did, so like this. But the leg stays up, you don't kick, and it's literally just like a pirouette. So if you can hold your balance, you've got the momentum and you've got the strength, do it, because it does look cool. Um, the only other one, is um, a continuous running man spin. So for that one there, I'm kind of stepping out a little bit and then turn, step out, turn. Um, you can use it if like, you're starting to lose your balance on one of the other turns, but you still want to keep going. It's good for keeping balance but still getting the rotational effect. So let's go do the footwork. Okay, so for that one, just looks like this. So that's all the spins I can think of at the moment. I'm not claiming to know every kind of spin that every shuffler has ever done, and obviously I can't teach all of that. Um, but if you have any questions, just Message me like you have been doing. That's awesome. It's great to hear from everyone. Um, and thank you for watching my tutorial. I hope you can learn it.